Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you tonight? I am doing very well. Before I get started on my journey tonight, I need to ask a question. Somebody was so kind to buy these two ounce cups off of my Amazon wish list, and I just want to thank you. And there was no name in there, so can you please? Either email me at artbytammy at yahoo.com or leave a comment below because I would love to properly thank you. It was so kind of whoever did this and I really appreciate it. Also, a huge, huge, huge thank you to Angie Gall for sending me, are you ready for this? Do, do, do. An airbrush that I kept calling an air gun. <laughs> She was starting to think I was going to go work in a in a pit crew changing tires with my air gun. Anyway, I cannot wait to try this out. I am so excited. Angie, thank you so, so very much. Thank you to all my sponsors and the donations that I've gotten. I will do a proper video. Thank you. Coming up soon. So, I'm carrying on. The mission here to find out what these pre-mixed paints do as far as different styles of pours. So last night we did a Dutch pour and we did a flip cup that turned out magnificent, both of them. Now, here's the thing that's still a little wet. So the 24-hour thing it's got to be depending on your temperature. I'm in a room that's about 75, so um, it's still a little bit wet. So I will, I promise you guys, I will show you how they dried as soon as they're dried. But I want to kind of keep going here. So tonight I'm going to try not a flip and drag, but a regular drag with the paint. And then I'm also going to do a tree ring pour to see how they hold up. So, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, up above, an eye is going to flash right now. Click on that eye, and it will take you to yesterday's video. What I'm using are the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Paint Pouring Colors. This means for new people that want to try out pouring and don't want to invest uh, a bunch of money of flow trawl and pouring medium, this and that, you can buy these, they're ready to go. You literally pour them in a cup and pour them on the canvas. You don't have to do any mixing, anything like that. They are pricey because they're mixed with pouring medium, so they're $14.99 per color. So just keep that in mind. If you get a white, a red, yellow, and blue, as you saw yesterday, you can make orange, purple, green with those colors. So, but for tonight, we're going to try three new colors. And I'm going to try out, have it here, violet, turquoise, red, and I'm going to use the yellow again. Actually, I'll use a different yellow this time. We'll use the deep yellow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my new cups that I got in the mail from my secret admirer. And I'm going to just put some of these colors into the cups because I want to add silicone them and I should have got these out before I started sorry so for this first one I want to put silicone in so I'm going to get four cups out I'm not going to put it in the white just in the colors the non-white colors, I should say. Now, it should be this easy, okay? Give it a shake. Okay. 
There's going to be a little seal in there. Rip it off and pour however much paint you need in the cup. Now, I won't need a lot <clears throat> for this, so it's a, uh, I'm working on a nine by 12 canvas. So that's the deep yellow. <clears throat> Next up will be the turquoise. Now, I did look for these on Amazon and could not find them. And I went to my Michaels today to get these. They had them, but somebody told me they tried to find them online and they couldn't. So they may be selling out. I'm not sure. But if you want to see if you can get them, go to Michaels or go on michaels.com and see if they have them. This is crimson. And the last one will be the violet, which leaked on me before I got it home. That was a nice surprise. I'll tell you, I've been covered in paint since uh, Thursday. See that? It started off with me going to pick up a full 16 ounce cup of white paint and my hands had paint on them and were slippery and I literally flung it down my shirt and <laughs> dripped down into my pants all over the front of me, all over the rug. The rug's a goner for sure now. <laughs> so it's been one of those weeks. All right, so there's my colors. I'm going to put two drops. Oh, I've got three coming out here. All right, that one was two. So there's two in the violet and three in the other ones. Using spot-on uh, treadmill belt silicone. That's the only reason why I would have treadmill belt silicone in this house is for my paint. This is... Lord knows, I'm not on a treadmill. Mm -mm. Exercise is a four-letter word in this house, my friends. So I'm just mixing in the silicone a little bit. Not going crazy or anything. So we'll see how these work with this, and then we'll see how they work with the tree ring pour. So I'm going to just pour some of the white on. And I'm going to spread that around. I bought this squeegee at the dollar store, but I don't like the way paint comes out when you use something to spread it out. I don't know. I feel like it's uneven. You know, if you're doing something like a Dutch pour and you're blowing a paint around, it doesn't really matter. But when you're doing something like this, I guess, I don't know. I just prefer doing it this way. But what would be nice is if I could get a big cup and put it. What a mess I got here. Somewhere so I could catch some of that paint. I'm trying not to change my table until I get done with this series. So that's why I got such a mess. Because why waste another one to just pour on it? This is not working out. I'm not saving anything. <laughs> I just wasted a cup, basically. I caught a little bit of it. Enough to hopefully get over here. Let's see. Guess it saves me some paint, right? 
or else I would have picked the bottle up again for that corner. So that worked out. Okay. I have a little like buffet line set up here so that I could just keep going. I'm just going to pour all night. That's what I'm going to do. I probably should have went live to do this, but I can't really monitor and it's late and the trolls have been out in full force lately. So Okay, so we're good now. Here we go. I'm going to put my little piece of plumbing tubing that I got for uh, 65 cents at Home Depot. I use those for my stands and I use them to do stuff like this. I'm going to torch the bubbles first. Sorry, I forgot to do that. If you don't torch them, then they pop during curing and leave little pinholes. And I always get asked every video about this. You cannot use a heat gun because the heat gun will put a crust on the paint. So that's why you just use a uh, either one of those long candle holders if you're afraid of the torch. Not holder. Uh, lighter. The long grill lighters. You can use one of those. It'll take forever, but it's better than nothing. I really don't think, you know, as long as you use caution, have a fire extinguisher. Don't let kids play with it. Um, a little handheld torch like that. There are cigarette lighters that size now, so. All right, here we go. So I'm going to place that right there. And I'm going to start, I'm going to be adding some white into the mix also, I think. So I'm going to layer these paints so that it works for me to make different colors. So, <clears throat> for example, I'm going to put the blue in there. Didn't want that to happen with some red right on top of it. I'm just kind of layering them on top of each other, going nice and easy. Then I'll put some more blue. So those two will make purple. Now this blue with some yellow on top of it will make green, hopefully. Okay, and then I don't want to put the yellow next to the purple because that will create mud. So I'm going to put some more blue on top of that. with some purple now violet on top of that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my white and i'm going to score it right down into the center of this hole forcefully so that it kind of shoots down into the center of the paint Okay, we're good. Now what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to lightly float it along the top, letting that paint out right down the center. I'm going to torch. And look at those cells coming up again. This is going to be a beauty when I stretch it out. Wow. 
you know, the, the sad thing about this is, is that I'm not going to want to go back to mixing my own paint, but I can't afford this. This is just downright gorgeous. Wow. Oh, it's like almost overwhelming. So I'm going to just slide this back a little bit. I'm not going to be doing much to this one. I want that negative space. Wow. You want to talk about chameleon cells. I'll tell you what, there's some chameleon cells in here without using that comb. This is just gorgeous. I'm just letting some of it go over the side because there's just too much on there. I'm going to come down a little bit. Go back up to the center. I'm going to go this way a little bit. And that's it. I'm just going to leave it now. I, I just cannot get over the beauty of this. This is really, really amazing. Do you have to torch again because there's a lot of air bubbles? And I have to get that little blue spot off. That I dripped but even that sold up <laughs> all right and don't worry I'm gonna give you a close-up when this is over look at these cells on the outer edge oh my god you guys this is amazing amazing I just, I'm like dumbfounded. I carefully scooch that off of there. Normally I would wait to do this, but it does have a pouring medium in it. So I want to get it off now before it starts to set up. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. Whew. <laughs> so let me move this out of the way. I will show it to you when I'm done with all of them. And we're going to move on to the next. All right. So the next one's going to be a tree ring pour. So for this, we're not using silicone. We're going to get a cup. So let's see. Hmm. Well, let's try. I don't know what I have here. I have phthalo blue. We could try that one. So now I'm going to pour these down the side of the cup. 
halo blue. My gloves are getting a little sticky here. So I have to be careful because that's how my accidents happen. Sticky gloves. Do crimson. Phthalo blue again. These paints are uh, semi-transparent, meaning you can see through them a little bit. So with a tree ring, first of all, they may be too thin to do a tree ring pour with. Um, and secondly, you're going to see the colors underneath each other. So let's let's just see how it works out. Now I'm doing the deep yellow on top of the blue again so that I get a green. And then let's do a little bit of white. Why not? Now, I have way too much paint for this, but I really kind of need to do another layer. So let's just do it, all right? We'll do a smaller. I really like to do three layers of color, but I went a little too crazy there with the color. For uh, a little canvas like this, you don't need that much. Well, hopefully, we'll uh, get a few rings here. It looks lumpy coming out, but it's not. It's just because it's coming out of that little hole. Then I'm going to open a new white. Yeah, so this is kind of uh, thin for your traditional tree ring pour, but let's see. Let's not write it off already. All right, so I'm going to take my cup. I'm going to pinch it a little bit. And right in the center here, I'm going to start pouring. And then a circular motion with the cup. Now, granted, that is not the best tree ring pour, but it is what it is. A lot of blue. I wanted to get a little bit of that red to come out. So that's why I use so much. You get it centered here. And I want to torch it quick. Alrighty, so here we go. Get your center of your ring right in the center of your canvas. Then start tilting to one corner. Nice and slow, come back to the center with the center of your rings. And we'll go up to the other corner. Now I have a lot of paint on here, so normally it wouldn't be falling off already. But it is what it is. Back to the center.
down this way. I'm going to let some of it come off now over the side here because there's just way too much paint. back in the center and then I'm going to come down I like this aqua that is developing here so I'm going to pull the paint off coming down this way so that opens up more You know, it would probably help if I had a little more paint down here. So I'm going to just take this and do that. All right, so I'm going to stop right there for a minute. I'm going to pour some paint right here. You know, although it's transparent right in here, like you can see underneath in a few areas, I'm digging it. I don't know. That aqua color that came out of that is gorgeous. Rings are holding together nicely. I do have some of the white popping through, which kind of sucks because... It just looks so random. But other than that, I don't know. Kind of like it. All right. So that one is complete also. So you be the judge. You know, do you like it? Do you not? Again, I'll have to show you when they're dry in a future video. All right, so I got one more canvas in front of you. This has to be a quick one because I don't want this to turn into two videos. So we're gonna take whatever paint we have left in the cup, okay? I'm gonna put it right there. I'm pour some white in there. Maybe not, nope, not enough in there. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the leftovers, all right? So that doesn't have silicone. This little bit does. We're just going to dump them all in there and do one of our who cares pours. I haven't done one of those in a while. Getting your frustration out by throwing paint at a canvas. Which, speaking of, I'm going to be doing something, hopefully, within the next week that is going to shock everybody. <laughs> And you're going to love it. There's the rest of that yellow. 
Who knows? We might get mud. We might not. And I'm not going to add, well, maybe I'll add like one or two more drops of silicone into the paint I'm about to add into this. Whoops. This is a, I don't care pour. It is what it is. So we don't care when the stick falls on the canvas, right? Because it is what it is. So I'm just taking some color. I'm squirting it in the cup. I'm going to take some silicone. One, two, three huge drops. I'm going to take some more of this bright blue, squirt it in, some of this turquoise, squirt it in, crimson, in you go, and white, in you go. This, what are we going to contribute this, get rid of our negative vibes to? How about the people that have been putting not so nice comments lately? Here's to you. <laughs> Take that to the bank and cash it. All right. So we have that on there. I'm going to add a little more white around it. Nope. I'm going to add a little more yellow. Some there, some here. And then that little wee hoe. And here we go. I'm going to torch it quick. Tilt it around. I go fast and furious with this. You can see that yellow, how transparent it is now with the red going under it like that. Sorry for the horrible view, guys. All right. Let's let it sit for a minute, see what it wants to do. All right, so even this has done something crazy. I mean, look at this cluster of cells. Oh, quiet, Cookie. Yeah, that, that's what I'm dealing with over there. Cookie! Cookie! She's playing dead. Look at that. This has to be the oddest painting I've ever created. This one cell, the white thing with the cells and the cells. <clears throat> this is just craziness. 
I'm loving this. I'm telling you, I'm just not going to want to use regular paint anymore. Now, wait till you see this one here. Let me move on down the line. These are magical. Magical. Look at that. It's a little face there. Right there. Little face. crazy here's the tree ring pour so i'm not happy about the white but besides that i mean looks pretty good to me i don't do it looks good to you too girl hi cookie <laughs> i don't do tree rings all the time but i mean hey if it wasn't for those white specks i think it would be beautiful so my friends there you have it another tutorial down done down i'm gonna have to stretch these over the side a little bit here after i let you guys go so anyway if you have any questions or comments just leave them below and um again angie thank you so very much for the uh, airbrush. I almost said air gun again. Thank you so, so very much. I truly appreciate it. And to whoever sent me the cups, just reach out to me. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I needed those badly. So thank you again. And to everyone else, I hope you have a really great night. Happy pouring.